Hi guys, I am back. That was so cringe. Redo, redo. Hi guys, I'm back with a long awaited video. A lot of you will probably come over from my TikTok right now and you're having a, a very long video from Alexa Williams here. Honestly, in this video, I don't know what I've talked about, but I've been rambling on. So um, get a cup of tea, get a snack, do whatever you need to do because I'm gonna show you how I do my hair and my makeup for literally like what I do for half the videos you see me in and loads of people ask. I'd rather just have one video and it's here and then it's done rather than everyone keep asking and I don't want to feel like I'm gatekeeping or anything like this is literally what I do. I'm not a professional. I'm literally a weirdo. Yeah, this is a look. You're going to get a, a little transition where you're going to be terrified because I've got straight hair and no makeup on. I look so scary. Um, allow it. Get yourself a girl who can do both. Love you all and enjoy the video. Give it a like and comment something fun and fresh. Tell me a joke. I don't know. Bye. I'm going to go now and... I don't know, maybe make a, a, another coffee because I clearly don't have enough energy, right? I'm looking way more scary now. Fresh face queen, straight hair. The transition to that is giving catfish. We'll get on because the transformation's incredible, Lex. Well done, babe. You're a fraud. You're a fraud, babe. So this section of the video is purely like my makeup that I do in literally all my videos that people always ask me on. My skin also um, has been having a little bit of breakout, so... Just ignore that. I couldn't give. Do you know what? I couldn't care less. Breakouts are cute. Breakouts are humbling. Um, embrace it. Who cares? Who actually cares? It's weird because I can't even like use music either to like get in the vibes in this video. Anyway, I've also got some questions because I asked on my Instagram, which my Instagram I'm gonna plug it here. I'm also gonna put the timestamp of when I start doing my hair because I know some people just want to see the hair side. So here's like a little timestamp on the screen. Hopefully, if I actually remember to do that. If you don't want to watch this section, who actually cares? You know what I mean. But um, we can answer some questions just to get into the mood. But I'm firstly taking the drunk elephant moisturizer literally obsessed with this brand like this has lasted me so long but it is their lala retro whipped cream sounds a bit weird but <coughs> the um oh my god i'm literally zoella what's going on look how cute this is like a thick it's a good moisturizer if you've got dry skin like i'm much more of a dry skin girly we're gonna answer one question before we actually like get into this okay someone's literally put tips for taking pictures where you look like that so insert the picture that i put as my story these are all taken on digicam so digicams are literally like the new thing aren't they well they've been around for a while but like everyone's getting them now mine is a panasonic one i think i literally got mine from ebay like they're like 30 quid but the fact that they're better than your iPhone, like I honestly think Digicam pictures come out so much cleaner. These little digital cameras, they're the life hack of 2024, guys. I have just carved out my eyebrows using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Not gonna lie, I got sent this and it wasn't from Tarte, so this could be any concealer. Um, but if it is the Tarte Shape Tape, it's amazing. Honestly, this could be dog shit in a concealer and I'm putting it on my face. We are using the Ciate, I think it's the Brazilian, well it's here I like so just look at the thing, Brazilian Glow Eyeshadow Palette. You literally just gotta wing it. Like I'll start with just some lighter colours. Like, I'm not gonna do a full on tutorial here because if I'm being brutally honest, I use this one here, what's it called? Poolside. It's pink though, why is it called Poolside? I'm confused by the name. The name choice, Ciate, I don't understand. Could you use your bronzer if you want to save some peas. Buff it out all the way out here because we can clean this up later. We're going to use Hot Sand. This is an orange shade. Okay, to so the name choice for that. And again, we're just adding a bit more warmth to it. Right, now I'm taking an even warmer shade. It's called Sunrise. And it's a really deep red. And we just keep building, building, building. A tinier brush just for like precision because we're going to go with like a like a blackish brown it's in the shade chill out now we need a flat little brush here a little flat brush i'm not gonna lie i wet the brush i just lick it like i'm not gonna gatekeep we've got time to put setting spray and i'm not wasting my my blooming charlotte tilb freaking setting spray on my brush get your little cotton pads here we go babes we're going under the eye up now look at how beautiful that looks now next we don't go into mascara yet 
we're gonna go on to the face because mascara can transfer whatever we'll do that at the end like the bright drops these are the b goldy drunk elephant ones again drunk l drunk l don't put do you like your fans right i want to clear this one up i don't have fans there's no no such thing as fans unless you're like a music artist like unless you're like look i don't influencers don't have fans like i really don't believe in that because influencers aren't like well i don't know because i guess people like making videos is like an art form it's a talent like not everyone can do that unless you are literally like mr beast you know what i mean all the side men like i don't think anyone's a fan i normally go live on tiktok most evenings most some of you will know who watch it and like you guys are like my little like my family now so do i like you guys imagine if i was like no i actually can't stand them i sit on a live for two hours because i hate them that much no of course i love you guys you guys are literally saved me so i love you and i owe everything to you guys to be honest i'm gonna go in with the ciate london brazilian glow again this is like the eyeshadow part i think this is all like a um a collection but these are honestly because i've not faked tan my body yet because i'm doing that later on in the week um cute um i i am gonna look a bit orange but you know what you we've just got to respect pro the process here because the concealer is gonna make it lighter the foundation but it's just a good base to have that's giving like oh she's been she's been to tenerife and back someone said tips for anxiety and stress p.s love you lex well i love you too tips for it right let me just put my foundation on whilst we explain i'm gonna use the elf halo glow they actually sent me this elf i love you i met the pr girl in a pub and i was with my new like assistant manager um and Lu well i'll say her name lulu knew her they basically started talking and i was like oh who are you like pr for she's like elf i was like shut up i love the halo glow she's like oh my god babe give me your your details and we'll send you a box i was like and that's on networking huns someone said how to deal with like anxiety and stress so let's get into it i don't think i have anxiety like i've never suffered with it so i can't really talk on like i mean i guess i can talk on like my friend's behalf and what helps them people are like you don't have to say yes to everything like don't push yourself like go into things if you're anxious but i'm like surely this is just my opinion just let yourself like not push yourself you're never going to overcome things so i do think like little and often like do little bits that maybe are gonna challenge your anxiety but also in the long run like you know like oh i did that so like i know i can do this rather than being like well i've never done it because i've always like listened to myself sometimes i do think you need a bit of like discipline to be like no we're, we're gonna do it today do you know what i'm saying so i feel like it's having the balance of like you don't have to push yourself and do things you feel uncomfortable with because look you've got to listen to yourself before anyone else but also you have got to sometimes just be like no today we're doing it stress again it's the procrastination that's stressing you out the most because you know like if you procrastinate you're not having to actually deal with it you're better off to just deal with it straight away like i'm not even joking i get stressed opening to opening voice notes my whatsapp like my work stuff because i'm like there's so much to do blah 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 but just open them get it done it's done your day's clear do you know what i mean like when i went to these two events recently i was like oh my god like i'm stressed like i, I really don't know anyone like there was one event i went to where i was meeting my assistant agent for the first time i didn't know anyone there like because it's more it was more for tv and like the people i know would do more influencer stuff who would go to like um, beauty events like i could probably be fine on my own at them tv stuff is a lot more my comfort zone but i really want to go into it i just had to be like look you're going you're doing it because if you don't start now you're never going to start i can have so much motivation but if you're not actually acting on it and doing it consistently like i don't know whatever you take from that i don't know what i said i always go on a little rampage what's a good teeth whitening brand so i had invisalign don't know if you can sell i'm gonna use a little elf halo contour we're gonna try her we're gonna see we're gonna see what this is about see the thing is because i do white my teeth but it is with like my invisalign you like put it into your invisalign retainers what, what a good teeth crest a crest good i've heard a lot about crest i think they're quite expensive but apparently they are actually good um so maybe crest teeth whitening strips maybe invest in them i don't know someone said is it possible to do a tiktok with your makeup well i'm gonna do a youtube and then you've got it all here i'm gonna use 
the Charlotte Tilbury. So this is low key just like the e.l.f. one, but it's the blusher because this is just a little bit more pigmented and I'm obsessed with blush. Like, I'm obsessed with it. It's better for me to do a makeup and hair video on here and then it's just always gonna be up. You don't have to scroll for it, try and find it. It's here, it's here for you, babe. I love you if you're still watching. Tips for a first relationship, well, so a lot of you may know this i've never actually been in a relationship so i honestly don't know these are the tips that i would go with and um, be a baddie be a queen you should know your worth no i'm joking oh god it's a you put me on the spot you put me on the spot people act so different in relationships like love does weird things to people well love who knows who knows if you're actually in love do you know what i mean you've just got to be yourself com completely through the relationship um don't be toxic even though it is really fun i wouldn't do that i probably would no no shut up it's not actually funny alexa there's young kids watching this this is my tip in life in general right we're gonna get um motivational now if you aren't yourself mate the people around you ain't gonna be your vibe so you're getting influenced by people who ain't even your vibe because you ain't yourself you're attracting the wrong people this is why you need to oh, 10 out of 10 always be genuine be yourself do what you want to do who gives a flying do you know what i'm saying who cares who's judging because the people around you are going to be the best people for you and for your soul say if i'm speaking to a boy i normally do end up telling them about like my tiktok and whatever if they don't know because i'm like look my videos are cringe i'm fully aware but i'm here to have a good time i like to help if those videos they get a lot of good feedback they help people that's why i post them because if that can make someone's day that little bit better, why would I not do that and also get a career out of it? Like, and I enjoy it. I love posting the videos. I love dancing. I'm a musical theatre student. It's like, it's like my side hustle, if that makes sense, whilst trying to make it in the industry. So if I'm speaking to someone, I will always make sure they see it. And then they can always like, look, if they, that ain't their vibe, they don't want a girl who's like on the camera like vibing that's absolutely fine because what is the point in acting like something you're not i just say in your first relationship you've got to be yourself and like if you're going into that relationship not being yourself it ain't gonna work out and you're gonna have wasted years some people waste years of their lives with this is what scared this is what guys we're getting deep this is why i literally i'm scared to go into a relationship because I'm scared of wasting time and it's like you're not gonna know though until you've done it so it's like I'm very career driven as well like there's a lot of girlies and and lads who are very career driven and sometimes like look some people just like I need to have someone who has goals passions like, I don't care what they are but if you ain't got a drive I really could not care less like first relationship just do what you've got to do but also if you're not being yourself bin them because Thing for you babe and if they're judging you for being yourself bye bye it's the nars translucent in crystal um this is great for like a little bake here there everywhere ciate london bronzer in the shade aruba island oh i'd love to go there this is just a nice like it's not too dark reasons why gingers are the best ah oh. my heart and soul goes out to all the gingers my non-existent soul may i add a lot of gingers do just get bullied for having red hair blah 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 and they end up dying it blah 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 i never luckily had that i think because i would say like little lex always been herself she's always been herself she's not really cared i don't know maybe my mum and dad brought me up really well i don't know but you redheads who are watching this you've got to just if someone's like chatting chatting bear you ginger like imagine going to school and like people are just picking on your appearance that you can't change like no one goes up to a blonde and is like you're blondes like, when you're older if you're watching this redheads who are like younger i'm telling you now everyone loves your hair when you're older like everyone's like oh my god want your hair like all the mums come up to me like hun wish i had your hair so if i'd have dyed it when i was little like you're just not authentically being yourself unless you really just don't like your hair like you actually just don't like it yourself then that's fair enough dye it do what you want but don't dye it because someone else has said like it looks it looks awful you look like ron weasley mate and everyone's beautiful live laugh love um be a baddie i don't know also using the iconic london it's like a little highlighter thing get a lot of comments being like oh you've helped my daughter and i'm like yes i better have if you bully anyone it's gonna hit you back when you're older and you won't have a glow up because the people who did bully who are they now that's all i'ma say
right we're gonna do a bit of the white eyeliner this is the part everyone always asks me it is the revolution streamline eyeliner this is it and it literally i got it from asos um it was honestly about three pounds some people think think it looks weird but i think it genuinely makes your blue eyes just stand out i've seen one of my teachers at um performers did it to her eyes and she had blue eyes and it just honestly it just slayed and since then i've always done it best advice you've been told in the industry that's a good question that's the tea um, I'm firstly going to set my face before I put mascara on. Charlotte Tilb airbrush. All on the face, hon. I'm literally dripping wet. When you walk into a room, do not apologise for being in that room. Um, I struggled with that a lot. This is so funny. I'm literally killing my eyes while saying this. Uh, it's when you lack confidence just in general. But you can't apologise for being in that room. You've worked hard. You've got something to show. You cannot apologise for being in that space. Like, just do your best and that's all you can do. Yeah, there's always going to be someone better. But as long as you're being true to yourself and not putting yourself down. Because those little thoughts in your head, like, I really did struggle with it. I struggled with it. I still do. Like, it is hard. And also, I'd say do not put yourself in a box. Like, I'm a prime example of this whatever i've trained in musical theater my whole life it's what i thought i'd go straight into i thought i'd be doing it straight away i'd want to do cruise ships all that stuff i realized like getting into my second third year maybe that's not exactly all that i want to do i love choreographing i love making videos i love doing influencing i, I want to go into tv i want to present i want to do tv work like there's so much more that i wanted to do and like people say like oh but you're not going to do that well if you're like you're trying to put your finger in every single thing and it's like but if i can i'm gonna like if i can do a film i'm gonna do a film if i can do a west end i'm gonna do west end like it's gonna take me a while but i'm gonna get there like i feel like if you really commit and have a passion for the whole in like i don't just have a passion for dancing and acting i have a passion for being a presence for influencing for inspiring for doing tv work for presenting for voiceovers for blah 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 like radio like everything if you genuinely have that why would you not try it all you don't need to have a niche i feel like people try and box people to have a niche but where are our like multi-triple threats like where are they because people are like no i'll just be a commercial dancer no I'll, i could i'm a singer actor and it's like no you can do more can always do more unless you are literally like no i'm literally a commercial dancer and then like fair it's like i'll see you at base but like try everything try it all if you want to go into influencing as well like i do think having a platform does help people and gets you noticed which you can't bash people for doing that because like they've got talent not just in on the stage they've also got talent for promoting for being a presence for being a personality like that's impressive there's to anyone who does that as well and like that that's what i want to go into and do as well maybe there's better there's always going to be someone better than you like do you know what i mean there's always going to be someone that's more fit for the job whatever in every situation um but i feel like a lot of people attack like influencers who have trained in the industry um and then will get a job but then people are like no they don't deserve it and it's like but they do just because they post them themselves online also and it's helped them like they're in like a you can't post like anyone can post online like you can make that your reality if you want it as well and if it's going to help your career why would you not also the mascara that i'm using is the lash sensational and the roller lash i mix both together because i'm just obsessed with mascara and i could do it all day so i'm going to come back when i've done my mascara right guys we've done the mascara kind of popping off okay right i feel like i've spoke for ages and i know this is so long and i can't even have music in the background but i don't want to talk about it cherry skies and then this is neutral rose so that's a lip combo a dior lip glow oil you don't need this part they are quite expensive but that is how we do the makeup look i always go and just blend everything i'm gonna get on to the hair now so finally if you've skipped to this part of the video we are now doing the hair so we're gonna get into it and let's go i'm gonna do the classic curls i might insert some pictures alexa turn your phone off babe i'm gonna insert the pictures of like 
what everyone always asks and i'm just gonna have it here you can come to this video and check it out and see what i use but i just want to firstly say on my tiktok bio i have a link this link is for my link tree and it takes you to all different platforms and things like my spotify playlist all that it should have my amazon storefront on there i'm going to double check this before i post the video i'm going to link it in the description also of this video because that's going to take you straight to all my hair favorites what i use and it's all on amazon so it's not a brand partnership thing it's just to help you guys like have it more organized and you're not like searching yourself like it's literally all they're done for you so love that for me organized queen this is the glamorizer london and this is their curling ones i have used this this isn't an ad i've used it for literally like three to four years now it's my life and my soul like i won't turn to anything else literally was like 50 quid i have to say you do have to practice with it like a lot of people think like, it's just gonna work straight away you've got to practice and know like my hair now takes to it really well but at first the curls were dropping out quite fast but now like oh it's just it's so easy to do literally get a strand of your hair you'll place it in the barrel with this bit facing the front and you'll have two buttons on the back of it so if you put it facing you, you can see there's two buttons and they're both pointing arrows like outwards. It curls it like curled inwards or outwards. But if you want them like bouncy, you want them out, out your face. So it adds the volume. What is your dream? Oh my God. It's hard because I have so many little dreams, like little goals and achievements. But, and my dreams change, like honestly, like I feel like Charlie will know this. Like I've got so many different things. Being in a film, like, having that experience of being in like a netflix film series that would be like so amazing i would love to like be seen for some things that would be like insane like to work on a film for like half a year that just sounds so like the behind the scenes that like, everything like i don't care what character i am like i just want the experience where do you see yourself being in 10 years so how old will i be 31 because the thing is, like, obviously you want to say, like, kids, husband, house. Is that going to happen, though? I don't know if I'll be in another country, you know. I've just got a feeling, like, I could be in Australia or travelling. So I do want to travel. Or I might be working on something big. Like, ideally, I'd love to be with someone that, like, I actually like um, and can stand. Kids would probably be coming soon. Maybe not at 31. Maybe, like, 32, 33. Like, give me another year, do you know what I mean? I've done some good work by that point. I've got people supporting me, backing me. Look, as long as I'm healthy and happy, like, if I'm still here in 10 years and big slay, do you know what I mean? What best advice you'd give to someone who wants to do dance, dance in college? So, like, I'm guessing, like, performing arts, dance, blah, blah, blah. Let me show you. I put this in my hair before. I forgot to mention this. This is a heat protectant that I use. Revlon Professional Unique One. Um, you can get it in a red bottle as well. It's on the Amazon page. And I use the Colour Wow, like, their spray as well. Like, I forgot to mention that. <laughs> it's a hard one because I feel like when you're, like, 16 and you've got your big dreams and you're like, I want to do dance, blah, 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 you're so blinded by the reality of it. And I don't want to, like, scare people because... No one ever scared me and I did it and I fulfilled like doing the dance college experience. But like it is such a hard industry. Like I just want to, like, I don't actually want to put people off. Like, but I don't want to be fake in the chances of you having a career in dance. Like, especially if it's just dance is hard. Like the people who are working, constantly working, have been constantly working for five years or probably work for another five years. They know all the people who are doing all the jobs, all who you know and not what you know. Like. Not in a bad way because the choreographers, the directors are picking people they know can work and just do it and they trust, they know them on a personal level. That's why that's happening. Again, if you love it that much and you want it to be what you do, then you cannot let anyone tell you not to do it. Like I'm I'm just being real in the sense of like, you're probably gonna have to have another job. You're gonna have to um, have your muggle jobs as well. Like we're being realistic here. Like I've come back, I've not gone straight into something because I've decided maybe I don't wanna do cruise ships. I, because I want to do influencing and realistically how can I do influencing on a cruise ship we know what the service is like for people on cruises and the wi-fi so it wouldn't benefit me in the long run that much doing a cruise right now especially as I'm just getting like back growing and reaching more people let me just pause from talking a minute normally I'd hairspray my hair now but I've actually just run out of hairspray but I would literally use the got to be always a got to be but 
I've ran out. So these curls are actually probably going to come out because that hairspray is the reason why they hold. My biggest tips is, look, if you're doing auditions this season, like I know it's like January time, a lot of people are going to be auditioning. I honestly wish you the best of luck. And look, I went to performers everyone has different opinions about different places that place was the best place for me and i had the best time i honestly met my bestest friends there like i would not have changed anything about it Ooh. and i know people want opinions on colleges but honestly you've just got to go for yourself and go to these auditions and if you don't like a place that's absolutely fine you don't have to like where someone's been like don't just go to a place because oh you know you know alexa's been there she liked it that must mean i'm gonna like it like that isn't the case and i've got to be honest in that like you might not like it so my tips are for anyone doing auditions wanting to do dance performing arts go to the open days get your face known the summer schools are good i did the performers summer school before i auditioned for performers so i knew that i liked it and i honestly i fell in love with it at that summer school so like that helped me and my journey at performance because I knew I liked it, I knew I loved it. You've got to just see it for yourself and not listen to what everyone else is doing and saying because little colleges might be better for you. A lot of these places are taking big year groups and if you're a quieter personality, you might struggle in those environments and that's absolutely fine. Whatever you put into your training, you're going to get out of it, so that is the tea. Sorry about me like being realistic and like maybe saying like, you might not get a career in it it's just because i feel like a lot of people don't say it because you want they want you to fulfill your dreams and i just don't want people going into the industry having a false perception of how easy it is like i'm sick of people thinking it's so easy and like having people being like oh why aren't you doing this job yet why aren't you in the room for that it's like to even like get an agent luckily i've got a great agent but getting an agent and getting into a room is hard enough in itself to be in that room they they get all the applications obviously there's open calls but there's also invited calls to be invited to a call is the hardest part and if you're not willing to put in the work to get to that point because i'm saying like honestly any of you could do it because it, like if you believe you can do it you will do it and there's so many fact there's just so many factors i'm going on a ramble and i'm so sorry but if you do want to go to dance college you like it's a great experience at the end of the day i had the best time ever and i got so many like skills from going there like the teachers that i've met who have helped me get to points like like some of my teachers that i had at college helped me get both of my agents that i'm with now so it's like it's like well like it was worth it do you know what i mean so it's so hard it's so it's such it's a tough one but if you love it and you've got a passion for it and it's not a passion that your mum's told you to have that's my biggest tip if your if your parents are the ones who are like you need to do it you have to like we spent so much money on it which fair enough but like no you need to be doing it for yourself not for any parent not for to please your teachers like you've got to be doing it because you want to do it that was really intense i need to calm down someone said getting over a heartbreak now i've not had a heartbreak um i kind of wish i did because then i'd actually glow up i can't even alexi do i keep that in yeah not been heartbroken um but my biggest tip for anyone that has you cannot and i mean it right if you're dealing with it right now and you're watching this you've got to listen listen to alexa here block them you mute them you don't see no posts you don't have their number you have no form of contact obviously if you live in the same town village as them i'm so sorry if you're there messaging them when you're a bit drunk you're out i miss them you're crying to your girls in the bathroom you've got randomers aka me because i always save the girlies in the bathroom i just love him i love him girls i love him i need to message him if he ain't messaging you you do not message him I actually don't message him in general like if he's toxic if he's awful if he's a bad man or woman whoever it is and you're broken up you're broken up for a reason obviously people can rekindle but it, whoever's in the I, I don't know because i probably would message like realistically i probably wouldn't lose contact because i'm just i'm out to get myself clearly no i'm joking you need to know your worth guys and not message them and you've got to distract yourself and that's not me saying speak to other people don't do that distract yourself and becoming your best self and that's so cringe but it's so so true all right I had to just stop filming for a hot minute because my battery is actually flashing. So we are getting to the end though. We're literally done my hair. 
normally it does look a bit better if i'm being realistic but because i've got no hair like hairspray like guys got to be glued i wish this was a brand deal to be honest it's the best um but did i have an answer about the heartbreak thing um guys realistically these are the best like actually being serious no contact mute them buy get them gone block them remove them you actually don't need them in your life um to listen to your girls or your boys whoever they want the best for you you've got to listen to them the amount of girlies and you probably are watching girls i've said block them remove them and they've not for months and then they finally do and realize oh it's actually kind of working yeah exactly that's what i thought that's the hair the hair actually kind of sewed. it's not bad and i'm also going to put the sol de janeiro why did i say it like that they're glossy oil again this is on the amazon just because it adds it just makes your hair smell pang let's be real um adds a bit of gloss you know the vibes i'm trying to rush because my battery's flashing it's stressing me out i've never had this Are you right and ours someone also said proudest moment i'm gonna say actually if i post this video hope you enjoyed this video i'm so sorry about how crazy it's been did i even explain any of the products i don't know i've just been rambling on telling you you deserve better so yeah merry christmas it's been christmas and um, i'm excited for summer happy easter it's nearly easter i guess that's the next thing coming up i'm just gonna leave like thank you i love you follow my instagram follow my tiktok i guess if you like me if you hate me i love you too um and have a good have a good week have a great day whenever you're watching this you're sexy i don't know bye right i'm gonna go bye